Well, blessings, everybody, and welcome to our new study, Matthew. This is part one. Matthew will be a two-part study, and so I would encourage you to uh, pray without ceasing, to make sure you stay on top of things, because we're going to be going rather rapidly through this course, okay? So this is video one of lesson one, and in this entire lesson, what we did was look at uh, chapters one, two, three, and four to get just a rough overview of what was being said here and then we focused in on each chapter as we go along so today we're going to look at the first chapter particularly and what we see here is matthew chapter one we see jesus uh, is messiah and what has happened matthew is writing to a predominantly group of jewish believers they're believers but they had a jewish background and he was speaking to them about their uh, genealogies at the very beginning and also about certain prophecies to show that jesus is messiah so matthew one we see that jesus is messiah matthew two we see that Jesus is the king of the Jews, okay? And this is because of some pro prophecies that were fulfilled. We'll see more detail about those uh, later. Then chapter 3, we have the encounter of John the Baptist where we see him pre uh, preaching, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of heaven, this Matthew says, is in heaven, at hand. And then we see Jesus being baptized. And then Matthew chapter 4, we see the temptation of Jesus by Satan himself. Jesus calling four disciples and the ministry of Jesus beginning. Now, chapter 1, we see that Jesus is Messiah. He's called the Son of David, the Son of Abraham. That's very, very important. The very beginning of the first verse right there starts defining some things. And what we see is that Jesus fulfilled the prophecies that were spoken to David, the prophecies spoken to Abraham. Also, he fulfilled more than 330 by some counts. Uh, prophecies in the Old Testament that told of Messiah to come. And so Jesus is verified by having this genealogy. He's verified as being Messiah and King of the Jews. Also, what's interesting in this, uh, we see some things, uh, several of the women were mentioned that are in the genealogy. Uh, you see Tamar and Rahab, Ruth, Bathsheba, and it's beyond our particular form right here to go into details about each one of these, but I would encourage you to make sure you read the scripture passages related to them, because what you're going to see is that even in Jesus' past and his genealogy, we're not talking about perfect people, <laughs> not by a long shot, okay? You see a real picture of God's grace and God's mercy. And then in verses 7 through 11, we, we see the names of the kings of Judah. So we have this genealogy of of the people and then we have a genealogy of the kings of which jesus came out of then verses 18 through 25 are a portion of the account of messiah actually being born what his birth was that his mother mary was a virgin and conceived by the holy spirit that his earthly father was joseph a righteous man is how he was described who kept mary kept her a virgin until after the uh, baby jesus was born and we see the angel of the lord the angel comes and uh, tells them what to name Jesus. And we see again these prophecies that are fulfilled over and over and over again. And so uh, spend some time in this. Meditate upon these truths. Uh, don't let a, sp a spirit of familiarity rob you of insight in what God is saying in these things. Spend some time taking forward. Lord, you're going to be amazed at what he reveals to us in Matthew. Again, I'm Dale from the Precept Classes in Coleman, Alabama. I thank you for being with me, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.